Make sure it's driver. We're live again for the third time. Uh, let's hope this works. We're here with Georgia Army National Guard recruiters who are answering all of your questions about joining the Guard. If you have any questions, comment, send us a message. We will answer them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Please introduce yourselves. Yes. I'm Staff Sergeant Hunter, recruiter with the Georgia Army National Guard. And I'm Staff Sergeant Kane, also a recruiter with the Georgia Army National Guard. And how long have you each been in the Guard? For myself, I've been in going on six years now. Yeah, March will be 10 years for me. And what's the best thing about being a recruiter? Is that a hunter? Uh, for myself, best thing for me is to, I get a chance to impact um, people's lives. Um, some people are not fortunate enough to have the funds um, to pay for college. And with my organization, we're able to pay for college for them. If not 100%, we're able to pay for most of it. So uh, for me, it's impacting lives. What about you, Sir Kenny? I'm going to have to second that one. It is going out and touching lives. I didn't have the best mentors uh, growing up in high school and everything, and a lot of these kids I know are on the same path. So I like to get to mentor these kids and help find where they're going to be a good fit in life. So tell me, who can join the National Guard? Okay, um, that's a great question. Um, if you're a non-prize service between the ages of 17 and 35, um, you're eligible to join. Um, be at least You have to be at least a junior in high school on track to graduate or high school, have a high school diploma or a GED certificate. If you've previously served and you want to come back in and finish out your time, as long as you can retire by the age of 60, you're more than welcome to come on back. And what's great about joining the Guard right now? Okay, I know you, I know you got this one. <laughs> so right now, the Georgia Army National Guard specifically offers 100% in-state tuition to public colleges. So for the students that are right out of high school, don't really know what they want to do, we can cover all the costs for their school. And what makes the Guard unique from other services? Okay, I'll, I'll take this one, Sergeant Kane. <laughs> um, what makes us unique is that we're a community-based organization. So we get to help the people um, that we talk to every day, that we communicate with every day. We get to um, impact their lives. So say for instance, there was a natural disaster um, in our state. We become activated and we get the help out of our community. Have either of you been activated during natural disasters? I have. I've been activated twice by two different states, California and here in Georgia, for wildfires and snowpocalypse. And what about yourself, Sergeant Hunter? Have natural disasters impacted you as a Guard soldier at all? Yes. Um, I've never been activated. However, I've been on the receiving end. Um, back in 2005, me and my family was in Hurricane Katrina and we was trapped in a two-story house um, and it was flooded all the way up to our knees um, from where we was upstairs. And fortunately, the National Guard um, came and saved me and my family out of that situation. So can I join the Guard if I have tattoos? Absolutely, as long as they're not gang related, they're not on your face, your neck, or your hands. And what if I'm out of shape but really want to join? If you're out of shape, you can still join our organization. As long as you meet our height and weight standards, um, you can join. We have a program that's called RSP, Recruit Sustainment Program. And in this program, um, we actually train you and get you ready to go off to basic training. So if you're not in shape now, hey, don't worry about it, guys. We'll get you in shape. If I'm in high school, do I have to wait to join the Guard? Absolutely not. The National Guard has a split training program. So if you're 17 and a junior, you can join. It's a part-time job while you're in high school. The summer between your junior and your senior year, you'll go through basic training. And during your senior year, you'll come back to drill one week in a month, and then you'll go to your advanced individual training once you graduate high school. What if I want to go to college, or I plan to be in college in the fall? Yes, you still can go to college while, you're, while I've been in our organization. Um, you have to understand, you only work one week in a month and two weeks in the summer. So you have ample enough time to attend college full time in our organization. Can you tell me about drill weekend? Well, drill weekend, it's one weekend a month, two weeks in the summer, and based on what your job is, you're gonna just train in your job and be more proficient in your skill. So what's the recruitment process like? What can I expect when I step into your office? Um, our job as recruiters, um, we gotta get rid of this misconception that we are forcing kids to join or forcing people to join our organization or the military in general. Um, that's not what we do. Our job as recruiters is to um, be that guide for you because you walk in our office with a goal, right, to see if you qualify and um, 
you want to join the National Guard. So our job as recruiters is just to be that guide for you and to walk you through those steps. So what, what, what can you expect from us? Um, us talking to you, getting to know you a little bit better, better, and also seeing if you'll be a good fit in our organization. So, Kane, you got something you want to add to that? Uh, absolutely. A lot of times people come into the office not really knowing what they want to do, what the military is about, what the National Guard is about. So it gives us a chance one-on-one -on -one to sit down and answer all your questions and lay out a solid plan for you and help answer some questions for you that you might not have even known that you had about yourself. I'm ready to join now. What do I have to do? Awesome. Here's your contract. Now, just kidding. <laughs> if you're ready to join the Guard right now, um, but first and foremost, thank you for considering our organization. Um, reach out to a recruiter. If you don't know a recruiter in your local area, you can visit our website, www.nationalguard.com, and you can click on the link that says um, speak with a recruiter. And you can go that route. What about the ASVAB? Do I have to take that to join the Guard? You do. Uh, passing scores range from 31 to 99, and it's an aptitude battery, so it's not a normal test. It figures out how your brain processes information the best so we can find the most successful job for you. And what about basic training? What's basic training like? Everybody's yes. biggest fear. <laughs> right. Um, everybody have that question, uh, what is basic training? Is it hard? Is it, is it easy? What is it? Um, basic training is a 10-week program um, that we have. This program is desi designed to be stressful. And it's also um, designed to transform you from a civilian to a soldier. We have a lot of training um, in basic training. We have uh, weapons training, we have hand-to-hand -hand combat, and we also have um, obstacle courses. Absolutely, you have people coming from all over the world, coming together into one group with different mindsets and thought processes. And the military is a team, it's a team-based effort. So they break down all those individual mindsets and build up that team effort and anybody that knows soldiers know that we are resilient and very loyal. So it absolutely encourages and builds on those strengths for you. Is there any way to prepare for basic training? Yes, run, <laughs> run fast. <laughs> Every day, all day, run. Um, you can run occasionally. Um, I, I'll suggest maybe a minimum, maybe three times out of the week. Um, and just practice on your, your push-up form and your sit-up form. Um, everything else, um, we will we'll pretty much um, prepare you for in our program, and our recruitment sustain program that you will attend before you go to basic training. So now that I've gone through basic combat training, what comes next? That would be your advanced individual training. So whatever job that you chose when you enlisted, now comes the part where you learn how to become proficient in that skill. And what if I want a certain MOS or job? Okay, if you want a certain MOS, um, that all depends on your ASVAB score. So what happens is you would take the ASVAB test once you finish the test, um, us recruiters, we will have your score. We would then give you a list of jobs that you qualify for based on your ASVAB score. And then you pick your job from there. And what would you say to people thinking about joining the Guard? Do it. Absolutely. Even just to get the information. Uh, knowledge is power and it's free. So the worst thing that you're going to get out of it is a really good conversation and knowing what your options are, because the last thing you want to do is look back and regret not taking the chance to even just have the conversation and know whether or not it would be a good fit for you. Awesome. So now we're going to ask some of the same questions that I see popping up. Um, tell me about the enlistment requirements. Okay, Sergeant Hunter. Okay, um, cool. So um, I'm not sure if you was here in the beginning, but um, if you're a non prize service, you have to be between the ages of 17 and 35, okay? You have to, if you're still in high school, you can join as a junior in high school if you're on track to graduate, okay? Um, you need a high school diploma or a GED certificate. Yep, we have certain height and weight requirements and that's based on your age group. So if you're not quite within that, we can help get you on track. We do have diet plans and we do have exercise plans to help you kind of get there if you're just a little bit off. And the Recruit Sustainment Program, of course, will help you keep on track with that. And what are some of the benefits of joining the Guard? It's a great question. Um, some of the benefits that we have, um, one that, that was big for me when I joined was um, the educational benefits. Um, a lot of folks, a lot of people, they want to go to school but don't have the funds to pay for it. And I know I say this earlier, um, and I'm harping on it because this is very important to me. And that's uh, one of the benefits that we have that we offer 100% tuition at most colleges. And what is the ASVAB again? 
The ASVAB is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, and it is a, it's a career guidance tool. So it figures out your strong suits and how you process information the best, so we can find you a job either on the civilian side or the military side that you're gonna be the most successful in. And that test, that score ranged from a zero to a 99, and you have to, um, the minimum score in order to get into the National Guard, it's gonna be a 31. And can I have my phone at basic training? <laughs> When you're allowed, <laughs> sometimes on Sundays they'll allow you to call home once a, call home once a week. That initial part of basic training is to try to kind of get you used to the whole situation. A lot of times, this is teenagers' first time away from their home, mm -hmm. and they're in a whole new place across the country with people they don't know in a bunk bed, and it's terrifying, and they don't know what to do. But the best part about that is it's all people that are coming together for the same cause, and they're in the same situation, and it builds this incredible bond. What's the coolest thing you've done in the guard? Oh, wow. Um, for myself, I think the coolest thing I've done was I attended aerosol school. And that was <laughs> that was very cool. And they, they basically taught us how to repel out of a helicopter. Um, so th that was the coolest thing for me. What about you, Sergeant Kane? I've never <laughs> repelled out of a military <laughs> helicopter or aircraft. Uh, but for me, one of my jobs is being an ammo handler. So. Just learning everything from small arms to AT4s, grenade ranges, being able to handle and get really hands on with, I mean, just so many different kinds of missiles. Oh, wow. It's exhilarating. It's, it's nuts. I love it. Someone's asking, how long does your ASVAB score stick with you? And if you fail, when can you take the test again? Your ASVAB score is good for two years. And if you fail, you have to wait 30 days before you can take it again. And is there any specific education benefit for Georgia, a cancelable loan available for yes. service? Yes, that is 100% tuition to the public colleges that we were speaking about a little bit earlier on. And it's called a service cancelable loan. That sounds right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and can you tell me a little bit about the patches you're wearing? Yes, sure. Oh, so this right here is my rank. Uh, I'm a staff sergeant, I'm an E6. And then the patch on my left shoulder right here, this is my unit identifier patch. I'm a recruiter, so I'm with the Recruiting and Retention Battalion. Yes, and for myself, um, this patch right here is actually a Master Batch Recruiter. Um, this patch up here is that unique survey I told you about aerosol school. <laughs> this is my aerosol patch right here. So every time you graduate a school, um, they give you a patch, depending on the school. Awesome. Uh, guys, we're going to end it here, but if you have any more questions, our support team is here to answer everything. You can always go to nationalguard.com to learn more. And thank you to Sergeant Kane and Sergeant Hunter. Uh, have a good night. Not a problem. Bye, guys.